Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, we are going to create this fun repeating geometric pattern. If you would like the design files for this tutorial, uh, be sure to check out my Patreon page where I upload all of the uh, design files for um, all of my tutorials here on YouTube. If you'd like to uh, support this channel, go ahead and check that out and I will leave a link to uh, my Patreon page in the description below. To get started, let's go ahead and create a new file. This time we are going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. We are going to uh, deselect artboards here. The resolution is 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color. Background contents set to transparent and then just go ahead and click on create. To start off with, I'm going to just click D on the keyboard to bring up my default colors here. And then we are going to access the shape tool. So I'm going to go a shift U. You could also uh, right click to access the ellipse tool here. And then I'm just going to click on the canvas here and we are going to create an ellipse the size of our canvas, 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels, clicking on OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and center this object here. I'm going to use one of my Photoshop actions um, center object here. I use these actions when I create patterns in Photoshop and they just help to speed up the workflow. If you join me over on Patreon, you can get access to these actions. And then I also have them available for sale in my Etsy shop. And I will leave a link to that as well. Now that we have centered our circle here in the layers panel, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer. So we have four total copies. So command J, command J, command J till we have our four copies here. With this top layer here, I'm just going to, uh, with the ellipse tool still selected, just select white. And then we'll do that again for this second layer from the bottom. We'll select white for this as well. This will just help us visually see what is going on. So with this top layer, I'm going to go command or control T and then with this icon selected so we have make an even change, we are going to bring this down to 25%. Clicking on OK, we'll go to the second layer here, command or control T and then this time we are going to go 50%. And then for this third layer from the top, we are going to go command or control T and then this time we are going to do 75%. And so we have the start of our image here. So next I'm going to highlight all of these layers and I'm going to go ahead and rasterize. Click to rasterize the layers here. And then selecting this second layer for bottom, we are going to click on the circle here, command or control click. And that will just select those pixels for us. And then we are going to select this back layer using M on the keyboard to get our marquee tool here. I'm just going to right click and then do layer via cut. And then I'm going to go ahead and just delete that extra layer here. And then if you see, if we turn off this layer, we now have transparent pixels there. And then we will click on this top layer. I'm going to command or control click on the icon, which will highlight that area. We'll click on the second layer. Make sure you still have your marquee tool selected. Right click and then do layer via cut. And then we'll go ahead and delete that extra layer. If I turn off this white layer, we have the basis of our object here. I'm going to go ahead and turn on this white layer here. And then we, I'm going to select all of these layers and just right click to uh, convert it to a smart object. Next, I'm going to create a dot pattern where I have this repeating in all the four corners here. So I'm going to use an action for this to create that quick repeat here. And then what we see here is we have our original layer. It's turned off and then we have our five repeats here. I'm going to go ahead and click into this smart object and then we'll just turn off this white layer. Command and Control S to save it. Command and Control W to close out. And then I'm going to add uh, duplicate this smart object here and we are going to have it go in each of the four corners. And to do this, uh, to make it easy, I'm going to use a Photoshop action. Clicking on the action here. What you'll notice is we have our original here um, with the layer visibility turned off. And then in a group, we have all five repeats of our object here. 
And then um, bringing up my patterns panel here, if you do not see yours, you're going to go to window and then select patterns here. But as I can see, it created an automatic uh, pattern swatch of this pattern. In the description below, I will leave a link to uh, some Photoshop actions I've created where you can easily create repeating patterns such as this. So at the next step, we are going to click on this third, this middle repeat here, and then I'm going to create a layered mask here. And then I'm making sure your foreground color is black. We are going to select our brush tool. And then I want to, clicking on the layer mask there, clicking on the canvas here, we are just going to get rid of this portion right here. And then we will do the same for this side as well. And then clicking on the next layer for the top one, we are going to create another layer mask. And then we are going to get rid of this area through here. And then we'll do the same thing for this side, adding the layer mask. And then we will get rid of this extra area here. Okay. okay. And with our swatch here, we are now going to add define this pattern. To do that, you can go to edit define pattern. I also have a action for this where I can just click the button and it will bring up the pattern here. So let's go ahead and test this on a new document. So we'll go to file new. This time I'm going to use the dimensions of 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels, resolution 300 pixels per inch, and then we'll leave the other settings the same and then just click create. And then I'm going to I click on this action pattern test, which brings up a solid color fill layer, which has a clipping mask to a pattern fill layer, and then we have another color fill layer. To access these layers, you can go to the um, layer adjustments here and you can select the solid color or the pattern layer. I like to use the action because it just brings it up quickly. And so we will select our new pattern layer here. As you can see, we have our repeating pattern. If you double click on this pattern fill layer, you have the option to scale it. Let's go ahead and scale down 50% uh, here. And then with this dialog box open, you can always move your pattern around if you want to position it differently on your canvas. To get back to the original, just click on snap to origin and then you can click on okay here. With these color fill layers, you can change out the colors of your design. Uh, let's go ahead and select a color here and then we can change easily change the uh, background color here as well. If you'd like to export this as digital scrapbook paper, all you have to do is go to File, Export, Export As. Here under file settings, you can change the format. In this case, I'm going to select JPEG. And then when it comes to digital scrapbook paper, generally you want high quality so you can bring up the quality of the paper. The higher the quality, the larger the file size. And then under color space, I like just to make sure embed color profile is selected. And then we'll just click on export to save it. Uh, coming back into our document here, when we originally created this repeat with the uh, Photoshop action that I used, it automatically created a pattern based on that before we erase the original line. So let's just go ahead and test that pattern here as well so we can see uh, what that looks like. It creates this kind of fun geometric effect and maybe we try a different color palette here. Maybe we try uh, some uh, purple colors. Maybe we'll switch the dark here and the light at the bottom, and it just creates a fun uh, pattern here as well. Thank you for watching this video on how to create this fun geometric pattern in Adobe Photoshop. Again, if you want access to all the design files for my tutorials, then you can join me over on Patreon. I will leave a link to it in the description below. Thank you for the support. It helps me to keep making these tutorials. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Be sure to check out my other tutorials on how to create patterns in Photoshop. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.